<clears throat> yeah, um, so this is gonna be off the cuff. Um, I don't really know how to make videos and stuff. Don't really like talking a lot, but uh, I was inspired recently by Brother Chris's roster video um, and decided, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this. Um, mostly for my own posterity's sake. Um, I'm just gonna do it kind of as like an online diary for myself, but you know, whoever watches, watches, I guess. Um, my name is Hamza. Um, I really like monkeys. Monkeys are super fun. They're cool. Uh, they're sick. Uh, that's why my YouTube's name is Monkey Man. Um, sounds like a college icebreaker or something. Um, anyways, um, I have around 5,000 hours so far in the game. Something like that. 5,200 maybe. Um, I really like this game. Uh, yeah. I have 16 characters. Um, I play these seven, uh, they're all 1600, I do all their raids every week, um, I don't really do anything unrested except on my Sork, on Claire, uh, everything else I usually just do rested, um, yeah. And then I have these other characters, I don't really do their raids, but I usually do their low pings and chaos dungeons, and until recently guardian raids rested um used to call these guys the upper six and then these guys lower six um when i used to have 12 characters uh upper seven and lower like nine ten ish nine ish lower nine doesn't really have the same ring to it so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna call these these my main seven and then actually not not main seven I'm just gonna call them these seven and then these nine. Um, you'll see why later, in like a little bit, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is uh, my full roster. Um, yeah, I guess I'll start with uh, stuff that I have on my account. Um, let's see. So for collectibles, um, I have a lot of Island Souls, uh, not Max, <laughs> very far away from that. I think I do still have some that I can put in yeah, for. So I have uh, 83. Um, not too shabby, but it could be better. I got most of these. I think I got like 60 of them within the first month or two. I really liked going around and uh, sailing when I first started playing. Um, haven't really done anything more with that. Um, giant Hearts. Yeah, see, everyone has full Giant Hearts. Um, Omnium Stars, I don't have any of the recent ones. Um, I don't really do field bosses that much anymore. Uh, Masterpieces, I'm missing a decent amount. Uh, mostly from the collectibles, but also some from Unas. These three from Unas, I believe. Um, haven't done anything in Music Box. Want to, though, but haven't done them. Um, the Cocoa Seeds, I reached this cave that has bats here uh, when I was initially doing them and I could not for the life of me kill all the bats or whatever so I just quit um, do want to finish them one day but uh, probably not anytime soon um, Ignea tokens I am working towards these three I'm just doing it slowly while I wait in groups for raids um, I usually start with the vistas and then I look for these and then I do the stories when I actually have time. I don't really have it right now, but um, don't really have time now. But yeah, that's that's the Igneas. Have every have the main parts though. Everything before Southburn. Um, World Tree leaves. I do actively try and get. Um, right now I'm working on the hunting ones. Uh, I just need one more left. Uh, I have a bunch of these pelts I probably need to run today because I have full. Yeah, I have full. So, um, I really want the mount. Um, so, fingers crossed I get it, but it's probably going to take a while because I still need like a lot. Um, and sea bounties, I have like nothing. Of. I think I have one just here on the sword that I haven't gotten yet. But yeah, I, uh, I'm really lazy with this stuff. I don't really like doing any of these event island stuffs um these time gated islands so i missing a lot um maybe one day i go around and do them i used to do 
the sailing co-ops but not anymore because no one does them and I don't need pirate coins I have like five billion of them so yeah um cards I have LOS 30 um, I think I got it this summer um, almost have a full Kadan need four more cards which means I don't almost have a full Kadan it's gonna take forever to finish him um, I have KLC 18 um, I have you know a decent amount of Thay mines for when he came out I guess don't know um, yeah those are like the only two important ones I have Master of Spears I don't have Lost Wind Cliff because I have not gotten an Armin since like February or something so he's just been sitting there recently I got one King Thyrain but yeah and I only have like three selectors so can't can't finish this yet um really want to though um I was thinking recently I was thinking maybe I should run some abyssal dungeons for Armin but yeah that's uh probably not gonna happen um yeah uh these are my damage stats it's really low and everything except demon is like okay it's definitely not the highest demon damage you've seen and uh i don't have like card xp stacked so that i can start uh making it go higher but you know it is what it is <clears throat> yeah so um now on to characters uh this is my i don't want to say main i don't really believe in mains um i think the ideology of mains is annoying and it's like I don't know I just don't believe in it I don't like it it takes away from your other characters and like I said I don't know if I said it at the beginning actually I love all my characters every single one of them even even these guys right here I, I love them all um, it's just uh, you can't really invest in all of them unless you either grind really heavy and I don't grind really heavy I grind moderately <laughs> heavy um, and especially with like the current cadence you can't really afford to put into all characters um, put a lot of resources so you kind of have to pick one and push it up to keep up with the flow but yeah anyways now uh, on to Claire uh, I love Claire she's super pretty she's beautiful love this dress too um, she's like my female alter ego um, I know that's kind of cringe but I'm gonna say a lot of cringe things I'm a cringe person I just you know that's just how it is um but yeah you're gonna hear a lot more of that um she was my third alt that i made um after deathblade and yeah i i really like her i love igniter um i decided to make her after i would think i was watching sneaky do a raid and just the demasi i just i had to i had to make a sword i just loved the way it sounded um yeah um she still has this these relic accessories um kind of not good quality not great quality um and i've been wanting to upgrade her but i've been passively trying to get a 9.7 um haven't been able to i almost got it on this one i'm kind of mad because i think it was a 45 or a 35 for this attack power that went to plus two and i was like maybe i should roll it on adrenaline but i was like nah and then I ended up getting this 9.6 but you know like it's a it's a pipe dream to get a 9.7 anyways so like i'm lucky enough to get this i guess um so if by thay mine she doesn't get uh, a 9.7 i'll just rebuild her with a plus one um or maybe earlier i don't know we'll see um these are her gems um she has level nines on the important ones this is a failed level 10 uh i rolled for a damage got a cooldown unlucky what can you do um i kind of want to get a level nine on so uh for damage because this cooldown allows you to get two so's in an ignite um and it does a lot of damage so i kind of wanted to do even more damage um but yeah um yeah uh, i do have a reflux build on her that i made to do procol back in the day um with with pet this is like 1823 I'm pretty sure with crit pet um yeah she has one ancient accessory on here 
because uh, I only started doing Procol on Rel Hard because that's when like it actually mattered. Uh, before uh, you could just like run in and just ignite the boss and it's like whatever. But in Procol Hard, it was actually hard to do um, Procol. But yeah, um, <clears throat> these are her reflux gems. Let me switch actually. These are the reflux gems. Um, same two level nines. I mean, it's basically the same gems. They're all level sevens. Um, yeah. Uh, I really like playing this class. It's a lot of fun. Really cool. Um, my goals for her, honestly, are I, I do hope that I get a 9-7. If I don't, probably by February or March, I will rebuild her full ancient, try hitting 1800 spec. And um, probably around March, actually, because I'm assuming after Breaker comes out, uh, accessory prices will spike a little bit and then they'll drop really hard because everyone's going to be using the pass and no one's going to be buying accessories for their breaker after like the first week or two only the serious people will buy it then so yeah so then like accessories in general should drop um so i'll try and either build uh five three plus one or plus two probably adrenaline plus one not sure yet though um because i hate not critting um did not talk about the race so i'll talk about it real quick um this is the bracelet I use with Nightmare. Uh, I was just had Nightmare on recently. Um, I had a uh, Chris energy in my party, but um, usually when I play with Hallucination, which is most of the time, even when I do have a crit sin, because I just hate not critting, I use this bracelet here. Um, I don't know if it's better. I know there's a calculator out there. I don't really use it. Don't care enough to use it. But I just switched this one in because I don't really need the crit on Hallucination. And I'm pretty sure Wedge probably does more damage. Who knows? Um, who knows? The calculator knows. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I love this character. Uh, she has a 1620 weapon. And I think she's like three taps off of 1610. Um, after she hits 1610, I, will pro I might like pump the brakes. Um, or I might just keep going for 1620 uh, because I kind of want to get her better elixirs recent like all the purple elixirs I get are like garbage I just put this one on because I just wanted a little more damage on her but every other one that I've cut is just terrible um, yeah so I at least want to get some like legendary ones that are maybe half good or I can use to get her to 40 set quicker um, yeah <clears throat> There's going to be a cut here because uh, I forgot to show her skins, which is like an offense against humanity because she looks great in all of her skins. Um, I remember like the first eight months of the game, I had every skin on her except the stern skin because I didn't like how it looked on uh, on mages, on Sylvains. But yeah, this is the skin that I'm, that she's rocking now. Look at her. She's like, it just looks so great. Um, I say it later in the video, but... um. A lot of the newer skins, I just like how they like base, so I don't really dye them. Like, this one looks so good base, I don't really need to dye it. I would, I'm thinking of maybe buying another one and just dyeing it a different color, and that will be the one that I just dye whatever color I feel like. Um, but yeah, this is the current set, uh, skin setup I have for her. Um, I did run this a while back with Nereus. Um yeah, I mean, just just those two, again, they look so good base that I didn't really die any of them. And this one I also ran at some point. Um, probably, like, again, looks decent base. Uh, I think initially I used to run this one. Let me see. Uh, I used to run this Omen with something else, with this. I used to run these two together. And with this Staff um yeah it's okay it's not the greatest i know um i do have this i never i never bought the hat because the hat was too expensive for me at the time um i probably could afford it now but you know who knows i might buy it um i bought this one recently really liked it really like this staff too um yeah and none of these other things are dyed. I think I used to also run this. I don't know. I used to I used to run around and in every every raid I'd say I'm so goofy. 
end. Yeah, I got some laughs from people. Didn't die this either. It's just base. I don't even know. Have I ever worn this now? Um, yeah, I ran this dress for a while too. This is her little nerdy outfit. Um, did I dye this? I did not dye it. I wish I did though. I do. I do have some plans to dye this one. Not sure when though. Um, and I also ran this one again. This looked so good on base that I didn't even need to need to dye it. It just looks so good by itself. Uh, they did a really good job with this stuff. Um, I think I did dye this. Yeah, the the classic battle mage. Not this one. Uh, there it is. And I used to run this with it. I also used to run the free, yeah, this. I used to run this with it too. Looks really nice, the gold on gold. Um, yeah, I have a lot of skins on her. Don't really use as many, but yeah. This was the one that I used probably for the longest. Really like it. It's just classic, looks great. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, I also wanted to say real quick, um, I, on her, I always do Una's, or for the most part, I do Una's Unrested. Um, I do Chaos Dungeon Unrested, except for sometimes, because I don't want to. And, yeah, and I do five Una's on her, so that she could get as many Leaf Stones as possible. Um, but, yeah, and I think I'm just going to keep doing that five Una's on her and three on everyone else. Um, yeah. Because I'm kind of I'm running out of the plus ones because I kind of went off on them to get everyone to 1600. Um, yeah, so this is my first character. Um, his name is Yohan, uh, Yokanan. <clears throat> He's like <laughs> he is me in the game. Um, I actually do have a beard that kind of looks like this. My cut is not as clean as this. Um, it's kind of long right now, but yeah. Um, He's 1600 um he has kind of shitty quality accessories unlucky um i built him when support accessories were really expensive but i kind of felt bad because i'm pretty sure he was running like a 4-3 um and it was a pretty shitty 4-3 that it had vital hit point or anything and i felt like i needed the vital hit point because uh, i was doing some bus runs with friends back then for clown and we really needed the the extra stagger there um but yeah the accessories are kind of shit but um i do have a 5x3 plus one on him i got this drop pretty lucky it's bad bad quality but it doesn't really matter um i could kind of like upgrade like these are really bad quality like i could probably upgrade these these two by like 10 for like easily like 10k gold each it's like no it's like a joke and then this one i could probably get almost perfect it's just no one sells magic stream accessories um so you kind of have to fiend the market for something like this and this is also just terrible so i could definitely get him probably near 1800 um but i kind of don't want to right now uh i feel like he doesn't need it and the magic stream helps enough i'm pretty good at, at keeping it up i don't really get hit that much um yeah <clears throat> Um, he just has normal all 1600, nothing, nothing special. Um, these are my gems. He has level sevens on all, or on most of the cooldown ones. I, I know he has damage gems in here. It's because I also have a DPS build on him. Um, and I don't like how these gems, sometimes they like mess up my storage here. So I just, I just put them in for both builds. Um, it's whatever. I used to have a full DPS setup. It was full level sevens, and I had a level nine in here. Uh, but I took the level nine, put it on my, one of my real DPS, since I don't really run this DPS build that much anymore. I just do it sometimes for fun um, with friends. But other than that, I don't really do anything with it. I do have this deep dive thing, um, or the deep dive equivalent for supports, uh, because, like I said earlier, I don't have any Armin's. I haven't gotten Armin in forever, and. Uh, I still need a King Thyrene, but I do have full Master of Spears. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and... Yeah, that's about it for him. Uh, I have this bracelet. It's it's okay. 
It has exposed weakness. That's the only reason I'm keeping it in, even though the stats are kind of meh. Um, I think I have one with cheer. Yeah. But my friend told me that crit crit rate was probably better, so I just put the other one on. Um, yeah, for him, I also, like, just in general, I want to get all my other alts to 1600, uh, 1610. And uh, so they could all do frog and fey mine when fey mine comes out. Um, obviously, I want to get them all to 1620, but you know, leaps are... <laughs> yeah. Hoping, I'm hoping a golden frog comes out in like January, February, and then I will buy it on like every one of these characters every week, and then leaps hopefully will not be as big of a problem. But now they're a huge problem. Unlucky. Um, another goal I do I do want to upgrade his accessories at some point, probably. Um, once I have enough gold. Right now I'm planning on buying more skins. I need at least like ten more skins. To satiate myself um yeah uh he has this skin i really like um a lot of these a lot of the newer skins i just like how they like base so i don't really die them that much um but i do die some of them um i also have this skin set up that i really like I like wearing it like this. Sometimes I like wearing it like this, but I like I like the the pilgrimy hat a lot. Um, and I have a bunch of swords that I swap out. Um, not that many, honestly. It just depends. This one I usually wear with this. Uh, this is back when I was poor. I couldn't afford the the other one. I just bought the other hat. I just bought this from the store. Um, it, it drained my bank and it fucked my account for a little bit, but you know, it looks, it looks so cool that I just, I had to buy it. Um, yeah, you know, this is, uh, this is him. I bought this because I used to think it looked hella cool, but he was also like really short back then. So it looked really ugly and I probably only wore it like once. <clears throat> I did buy this. I was thinking of dying it. But again, I just liked how it looked base, and I didn't really see a die that I really I wanted to change it to, so I kind of kept it like that. Um, yeah, and uh, this is just how he looks right now. I used to wear this with this cow outfit, and then carry people, and I don't know, I thought it was funny. I would carry people through guardian raids. Those were better times. Um, but yeah, that's uh, my paladin Yokanon, and. Uh, this is the Monkeys Guild, as you can see. Um, my characters are in two guilds right now, Monkeys and Milo. Uh, we all used to be one guild, but then there was a schism that happened. There was some internal conflict, and they split, and I have characters in both guilds. But now I'm the Guild Master of Milo, because most of the people there quit. So, yeah. Um, this is my Deathblade Elaine. I have two Elaines in my roster. Um, just like the name, it's really, really nice, elegant name. Um, yeah, uh, she's 1600 Deathblade, uh, I played her Surge since day one, I played her Surge when Surge was garbage in tier one and tier two, I remember a lot of my friends, they also made Deathblades and they went Surge, and they all quit during Tower, because, uh, I'm not sure, I think it was tier two Tower, the boss on the final floor was like, just owning them when they were surged so they all made re builds and they beat the boss but and i stuck through it on surge and beat it beat the boss and everyone was like wow and yeah um i really like surge's play style um recently though after seeing the new re i was thinking of making an re build too but we'll see um yeah she's 1600 nothing i think yeah she has 1605 weapon I mean, whatever you know um she's also just like uh, Claire, just like my sword, she has all relic accessories. Um, I have, and just like her, I built her during the same time. I bought the books during the first frog with the sword. Um, they were still a lot more expensive than they are now. I think I bought these at 10k. I bought the sorks at 12. Um, so even with frog, they were very expensive. Um, yeah, I think it was during Brel, first Brel release, and. Uh, <clears throat> You know, I do want to upgrade them at some point. Again, I've been trying to roll for a 9-7 on her. Didn't get anything as good as Sorks. Um, and I'm still not sure what 
what the ideal 97 is i've been doing research about the new surge um some people use mass increase and raid captain at level three some use it at plus two i'm not sure yet um i probably need to do more research to find out what's the best thing to do i do have some rocks in my storage that i'm waiting to use um yeah i have i guess not i guess i lied i had like this keen blunt read captain grudge mass increase um yeah uh, i guess i'll just take this moment to show my engravings too since i didn't before i only have grudge at times 12 but i haven't bought any of the other books any of the books from the legion commander vendors so whichever one if i ever get a grudge plus rock on any of my other characters i'll just buy another engraving um i'll just drop like 100k for it and it's whatever don't really care um yeah let's see um yeah i think oh these are her gems um level nine on surge uh that level 10 cooldown on claire was supposed to be a level 10 gem for her um but obviously it didn't pan out so i'm still um and i've been trying to get level nines on my other characters so i don't really have level nines to fuse into a 10 for her um at least now you know i'm kind of I again like I said I'm I'm trying to buy a lot more skins than I can afford now. So I'm just going to buy the skins and then I'll work on the gems later. Um goals for her probably update the build. She I'm not very keen on getting a 97 on her. I would love it, but I'm not going to try and force it as hard as I am on my Sork. So I'm fine just building her with a 531. Um but again, like I said, I need I want to do more research to find out what fits my play style and my needs. Because I'm not the greatest player, but I think I am good enough that maybe I can pull off mass increase raid captain. But I'm not sure. I need to see the I need to see more gameplay, more stuff about it. Um, yeah, I guess I didn't really show elixirs on the others. Um, she doesn't have any good elixirs either. Um, I don't think my paladin had either uh, had any good elixirs. He didn't get any attack buff ones. So I just dismantled and sold them all, and same thing for her. She had all garbage, so unfortunate. Um, yeah, goals probably get a five three one, probably earlier than Sork too, because uh, I'm not. But I do want to find out what I want to play first, and I also want to try and get a rock that works for RE too, because the new RE looks really cool. So I kind of I want to have both builds. Um, I'm not gonna quit on Surge. I'm just gonna play both. You know. Like depending on my mood that day um i'm down to like drop gold on it too i don't, I don't really care um let me see her skins <clears throat> uh she also i used to buy a lot of skins on her i have all three of these katanas uh from the spring set last year uh really like them i did dye this one full white i do like the purple one a lot i used to run this skin for the longest um, I have been thinking about reskinning her, but I don't know. She has this kind of like cute, goofy look to her, you know. Um, I, I'm not talking about this. I'm just talking about her face. Like she has this cute, goofy look. She's not as pretty or as hot as my other characters, but I don't know. It's like kind of cute, dimply. I don't know. I, I I like it, so I'm probably gonna keep it. Um, I also used to run this. I really like just the. <clears throat> the top for the bikini and these jean shorts i just really like this combo and then this hat is just really cute too i don't know i like it um yeah then i ran this for a long time i also ran this in this i think yeah i ran these two with one of the katanas i think it was the purple one honestly um really liked it i'll just put the red ones on but yeah really like this it was this this is what i ran with it um this used to be all purple i it still fits kind of and then i ran it with the purple katana like this look a lot too um glow kind of ruins it but you know what can you do um i don't know why i bought this yeah i never wore it but i did buy it i do like the way it looks also bought this don't know why i dyed this white 
probably put it on another set. Can't think about it now, though. Can't think of it. Is it this? It was this. This was the... Nope. Lied about that one. I also ran this for a little bit. Like the look a lot. Um, I really like the Switcher outfit. It looks really cool to me. Um, yeah, it looks like that's about it. I, I ran this like every other assassin when the game first came out. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> and now I'm just running this because this skin is so pretty. It's so great. I just love this. This whole vibe, this whole aesthetic is just fantastic. Um, yeah, and uh, that's my death blade. Love Deathblade. Deathblade's great. Um, yeah. My, I'm pretty sure I said one goal. Another goal, obviously. Get her 1610, like every other character. Um, bracelet. Even with crit precise, it still doesn't crit. So, unlucky. Surge kind of stinks. I do have, like, these shittier bla bracelets. Don't really use any of them. Um, this is my artist, Edom Yui. I love her. She's hella cute. Um... She's like a little sister, you know? I have a little sister, and she reminds me a lot of her. Um, yeah, I've been waiting for this class to come out since I watched ATK's DPS video. I love all the skills. They just look so cool. Um, but now, it's like kind of impractical to play supports as DPS, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, but what can you do? Raids suck. I don't like any of the raids, personally. Um, but yeah, um, she's 1600 like everyone else. She has pretty decent elixirs. She has faith, which I'm pretty sure is the best one. Um, and yeah, like pretty usable elixirs. Um, I don't think I cut her ones this week. Yeah, I didn't cut her elixirs this week yet. Hopefully I get faith, pan uh, faith gloves and then I'll be set. Um, she's, I guess like all my elixir luck went into her. Uh, basically, but yeah, um, she just like my paladin. I built her and my paladin around the same time. Accessory is really expensive, so she has really, really bad qualities. I do want to upgrade these qualities at some point, but um, probably not soon because you no, know, it works. Um, she also doesn't have full bloom book. Um, it's been 3k for a while, and I've been waiting for it to drop to 2k. Once it drops to 2k, I'll buy it out. But uh, but right now, you know, again, like I don't think full plume scaling, like four percent extra heal, isn't that fantastic. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, don't really care um, that much. It's like what four, fifteen hundred, something like six k extra health might help in some cases. Probably won't. She has a terrible rock too. <laughs> this is like the worst rock I've seen. Um, if I do end up rebuilding maybe i try going for a plus one but the plus one's like crisis evasion so it's like useless so i'll probably just try upgrading the accessory uh qualities but not anytime soon like i said um, she has sevens and all the important skills and just these random ones on skills that i swap in and out uh, i usually never swap sp skills though um i do want to get more sevens on her but currently i'm trying to get nines on my dps uh so yeah, you can kind of just skimp on supports. It sucks, and it's kind of kind of whack, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, her bracelets, like, meh. You know, the MP recovery does help, though. She, I do run out of MP a lot, um, but, yeah. I do have a DPS set that I made, I'm pretty sure, week two of artist release. It's been the same ever since. Um, loved playing DPS artists. I tried carrying a hard vault in, and I almost, I ran out of time at the end. I got, I think, the last wolf to seven bars, and then he enraged. So it was pretty close. Um, I also didn't have LOS 30 when I did it, and I just haven't tried since. I still have these Panacea from then. Um, <clears throat> also only had level five gems while doing it, so, uh, yeah. Um, love this dress. Looks really cute. I love this whole... This whole aesthetic. I think I have this dress on all my all my female characters, all my girl characters. Um, probably should have went over qualities on all my armors too, but eh, whatever. Like all oh, every character has like blue quality except for her. Her shoulders just do not tap. Unlucky. And all my DPS have probably eighty plus. Um, I used to 
try and get theirs, both my support, uh, Yokanon and Iramui, over blue, but not anymore because I don't really run the DPS builds on them anymore. Um, skins now. For my skins, um, you obviously have these. Looks really cute. No matter what you're wearing, it just looks looks cute, looks goofy. <clears throat> I got the cow outfit for James. He's a guy that used to run with Saint. Um, and it looks really cute then too. Um, I'm pretty sure I dyed this. Yeah, I dyed this blue. And I would run it with the Yoho hat. And it just looked so cute. I, I love this. I love this fit right here. Um, but yeah, I wanted to buy other artist skins. But they've all been really expensive until recently. And all the skins I used to want are now pretty cheap. But there's better ones coming out soon. And yeah, it kind of like, I don't know, there's better ones coming out soon and all the current skins, I don't really like the way they look on artist and they are like hella expensive too. I do want to get the time together skin on artist, but as you can see, it is like 80 K, which is like a lot. I want to get this blue one. Um, I, I, if I could, I'd get both, but that would break my bank too much. So I'm probably just going to get the blue one. Um, yeah, my goals for her, again, are I do want to upgrade these qualities for my support build. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically it. I just want to upgrade the qualities. I don't really want a plus one. I don't think Crisis of Agent is that great. I don't usually die in raids anyways. <clears throat> and yeah, and obviously 1610, like every other character. Um, this is Indorsi, my gunslinger. She was probably my fourth or fifth alt. Don't really remember. Um, I made her so I could play with my other friend. I, I wanted to make a gunslinger. And he started playing the game and he was also a gunslinger. So I ran all the story into like Arthur Teen with him. Arthur Teen or... And then I stopped. He went and he did Shushire. And then we did Vern together. Um, and then I power passed like the rest of the stuff. Or not power pass, knowledge transferred because I didn't want to do it. Actually, I think I did it. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, this is her. <clears throat> Love playing this class. And she is like stacked the fuck up. She is strong as hell. Um, I'll begin by showing the first 9-7. Or actually not the first, the second 9-7 I got. But the only 9-7 I really wanted on my roster um, was on her. And this is her build. Full ancient. She's the full first person that like i actually built a 5-3-2 with i have one other 9-7 i'll show you in a bit but um but yeah and i didn't i used to have i think a 4-3 a 4-2-1 or something on her or something like that it looked really ugly or maybe it was like a 3-2-1 something like that and i didn't want to rebuild her until i hit a 9-7 and then one day i got a really good like row of rocks on on my glaive year like i was hitting eight six eight seven and then i was like you know let me go tap one on my gunslinger and i did and it was a nine seven and it was just a wild i was so happy and then um i built her with full ancient i think this cost me around 150k um pretty like decent quality not terrible you know um it works it fits the calculator for gunslinger um this is the build if you have a crit synergy this is without crit synergy. I also had this one that worked before I got this bracelet, which is like crazy good too for Gunslinger. Like, I, I don't know the percentage on this, but it's probably, it's probably really good. Like, you know, you have the circulate and then you have precise, which allows you to put in this extra spec. I bought a new earring for her. I don't know which one it was. The Hitmaster one. So this one. And yeah, you know, it just she is easily my luckiest character and i love playing her too it's a lot of fun um but she only does have full 1600 nothing nothing too special like the weapon or anything um but yeah for her my only goals are to get her more level 9 gems um her gems are all, all my characters gems are lacking because i spend so much on skins um <clears throat> i easily have like 2 million gold of skins on my, on across all my characters um but yeah I uh, I do want to get some on Sharpshooter. I do want to get three more damage gems on her. Sharpshooter, uh, Focus Shot, 
and uh, target down. Um, but I'm okay only getting sharpshooter and focus shot and then getting a cooldown on dual buck shot because right now this is kind of wonky having a cooldown on sharpshooter because then I need to use buckshot first and then sharpshooter so that they line up but you know <clears throat> I like I saved the silver by rolling this so I just I just kept it there um so yeah uh my really only goal for her is again 1610 and uh getting probably three more level nine gems on her two damage one cooldown um she don't think she has yeah she's like decent elixirs you know I kind of only just put these on so I could pug on her because I have seven characters so I can't run uh, all of them with my friends. I uh, I have to pug a decent amount so this is just like, you know, like hey I did it and I invested enough in my character, please let me in. Even though I don't have full level nines. And I mean sometimes it works. Um, but yeah, I love playing with her. I love her. She's, uh, she's great. She's really pretty. Um, she's probably one of the prettiest and she's not my alter ego like claire she's probably like ideal girlfriend this is again very cringe to say it's like a video game character really it's like you know <clears throat> it's just i i just have like maybe i should make like videos where i talk about like the fan fictions and rps that i have about my roster um and like their backstories and stuff but i don't know that's probably a little too cringe i'll, I'll keep that stuff to myself but yeah um last new year's i used to wear this you know and yeah, it looked so good i didn't really feel like dying it um i did buy this for her right when i made her and i just ran around like it with it on you know it looked okay i was like you know skin is a skin uh, we didn't have many skins back then um i do have some of these these are for my eyes only um but yeah, I do run this and this. I do also have, I really like this, this look. I don't like having my characters run around in skimpy outfits too much. Um, so I don't really wear this that much. I like the dresses a lot more. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I really like this, this specific look. I do have uh, shorts that do match it. Um, but I don't really like this look that much, so I don't use it. Um, initially, I used to wear this too when this set came out. I think this was an Arc Pass skin. Um, yeah, I I still like it. It's okay. The pants kind of suck, but you know, they're kind of stale. Maybe I can make it revamp it, make it look better. But nah, it's too much work. Really, really like this dress. I used to wear it with the shorts. Yeah. <laughs> it's really simple, but I don't know. I really like it. Um, yeah, I think I did wear these before, but who knows. I also really like this on her, even though, again, it's simple. It isn't dyed. It's not special, but I really like just the way it looks. It's really pretty, and it's, like, glowing. It's angelic. It's nice. Um, recently, I was wearing this until the most recent dress came out. Um, really like this dress again. Uh, I like just the base look of it. I don't really feel a need to dye it. It looks good enough. I was wearing this when it came out. You know, good good armor look or fighting look. Um, it's not like a dress in a con. It's just you're wearing this, you're going to war. You know, it just looks nice. Little chain mail here. Uh, I dyed this by myself, so it doesn't look amazing. This is before I was introduced to the Korean dye dying uh, knowledge um really like this one when it came out wore it for a really long time too it's just like really cute really uh serious look um there's one more i'm pretty sure yeah this the melody one really like this one too i just love this i don't know i like this color scheme on her looks nice um and yeah but now just wearing this one because it's just so pretty, so elegant. This one, I might die, though. Um, even though I really like this one, I don't know if it really fits her. Um, it kind of does, but not sure if it 100% does. So I do want it to 100% fit her. So I might change the color a little bit, but we'll see. 
Um, I'm gonna need to look look into the different colors I could go with it. But yeah. <clears throat> Uh, this is my soul fist, Himino, also known as Himi. Um, I love her. When I first made this, I, I knew I was going to love this class. I used to do my first Guardian solos on her, uh, and I pushed her up raw. Didn't do all the transfers, nothing. From, <clears throat> well, I mean, I did transfer all the base story. I don't think I did Arthatine or any of that on her. But from uh, from Vern all the way, and she was probably the last of my main six uh, to get into the roster. But uh, but she was ready for Clown by the time Clown came out. Um, yeah, she is my first nine seven. It is a reverse nine seven. Sucks, but you know it is what it is. I didn't even know what a reverse nine seven was at the time. I think I spent like two hundred fions. Uh, trying to get a 7-7 seven, seven on her and then I hit this and I was like whoa a 9-7 I didn't even know what a reverse 9-7 was I thought just 9-7 was like wow so good you know um but yeah uh I do I did recently do this I did this like a week or two ago it cost me a lot of gold uh it cost me I think like 320 or something but it is 1800 plus with a like shit bracelet like this bracelet sucks but it has precise on it, so it's better than any of this other garbage that I have. Um, so ideally, I'd have one with probably 10 to 20 more swift, and then she'll have like very good swift. But you know, 1800 swift is all you need for the Solfus breakpoint. Um, I did initially play here as as robust when I was doing guardian raid solos, which is like like ill from me because robust famously like sucks early game. Um, but yeah. I was thinking of making a robust build too, um, but again, I don't have the funds to really make a robust build. I'm pretty sure, actually, I don't think robust uses raid captain, so I'd probably have to cut another rock. But you know, it is what it is. Um, really like this dress on her too. She looks very, very elegant, very beautiful. Um, yeah, uh, she doesn't. She's like my other characters, just 1600 everything. Um, I, re I said all my DPS have over 85, I'm pretty sure, quality on everything. I think my Sork has like 99, um, after spending like 100k on her. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is the build. Super good qualities. I, I made sure that I got really good qualities on her. Um, but her gems are very lackluster because of that, you know, but you know, it's, uh, I'm going to try and do my gunslinger first because I usually run her with my friends and she still keeps up with them and they all have like full level, full level nines. Like she hits around 11, 12 million DPS. Um, and they all hit around 13. So it, she's still very good. Um, yeah, uh, my goals for her again, I probably want to get damage on shadow breaker and merciless pummel for sure but the most important thing is the cooldown gems for the break points i believe i need a level nine i do want to swap illusion strike to force orb Illusion strike very cool spell but i don't like how it feels when i'm playing you like you're just stuck in place you can't really move and that kind of sucks like the boss just walks away force orb is harder to use than this but it's more mobile and it's like a smoother faster play style I remember when they first revamped Soul Fist, I hated Force Orb, and I was glad it was gone. Um, but now I kind of want to try it. It's the higher damage build, and it's I don't really like how this spell locks me in, in place. I'd also need a level 8 on Merciless Pummel, and I believe Energy Release. Um, but I, I'm just going to go for 9s on both of them. Like, why not? you know so probably three cooldown nines and then two damages if i can um i'm fighting off a lot more than i can chew like i just dropped 500k right there in words but um but you know that's that's a, that's my goal by thing line to get shadow breaker merciless pummel damage and then cooldown on energy release merciless pummel and uh enforce orb and then i'm pretty sure i would hit the break point for soul fist for the new rotation um, yeah, I think those are my goals, 16, 10, and those gems. Um, now for her skins. <clears throat> Himmy's skins. Yeah, she has this same one that Gunslinger has. I just really like this skin. I really like, it's like simple, but very, 
Very cute, very nice. I also have this one. I guess I just never wore it. I liked how it looked, but never wore it. Um, I remember the day I made the Soul Fist. I bought this skin, even though I had 40,000 gold, and this skin costed 32,000, and I bought it anyways. And I would do my Guardian runs on it. And it was just a good time, you know? I like this skin a lot. It's really nice. Um, Well-made. Uh, what is it? What are they called? Platinum skins? Um, I also did this. I ran around with this for a little bit. I really like this look. Sadly, you can't dye it. And sadly, it has this ugly shoulder piece. But, you know, I don't know. They, they, they really like their shoulder pieces there, I guess. Um, I do have... Nope, actually, I'm not going to show that one. Sorry, guys. Um, I did run this for a while. Uh, again, like I said, I always liked the bikini top, the jean shorts, and this hat. I don't know, it just looks cute to me. Um, I used to run the rubber ducky, too. It was really nice. Where the rubber ducky era was great. I used to also run this one and this one. I have a lot of these colors. Um used to also run this with the ghost where's the ghost at yeah really cute i got a i got a lot of compliments on this one back in the day um ran this one for a really long time i really like this one i dyed it myself so it's not great but yeah i don't think it's terrible you know it's like okay it's like average um i also did i dye these i didn't dye these but yeah, you know, I just have this on every character too. For for these lot for these past skins, I bought them on almost every character because they usually never come back, but these ones came back. Unlucky. But I would buy them and I'd break my bank buying them on every character. Um but yeah, you know, is what it is. Also bought this, didn't feel a need to really again, it just looks so good like this. I might dye it on her though, because I think I can get it to look better on her than just the white um but yeah we'll see this is the skin dye that i had for her for this one this is one i made myself again not great but not terrible um really like this one the base on this one so i didn't dye it i don't know how you would dye it to make it look better than this this just looks really good um and yeah now i'm just just rocking the new set because it's just so pretty it's so pretty it's so good um yeah and that's my soul fist uh this was since clown these were my upper six my main the again sorry it just it came out of me the six characters that i used to run raids on for gold and i would do all their all their raids every week um and now with soul eater that came out soul eater is the next one so um soul eater is the most recent addition to my roster <clears throat> Um, but I've been waiting for this class for so, 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 so long. Uh, her name is Frida. I love Frida. It's not Friday. Some of my friends call her Friday. It's Frida. Um, she is beautiful. She is great. I love her. I remember when I saw this at Last Low Aunt, when, like, the release trailer came out, they, they were, uh, showing the class, the new class that was coming. I was like, I cannot wait. And then they released the first video for soul eater and it looked terrible she was holding the scythe like it was a glaive like the glavier hold and it just looked terrible but thank god they fixed it to make it look like this and i love it i love all the spells i really like knight's edge i also really like uh i think it's called night harvester or something don't remember um full moon harvester yeah I'm going to be making both of these builds, which is why I am saving my Fions, because I do want to have both builds on her, because I do like both playstyles a lot, and uh, yeah, I'll probably build Knight's Edge first, um, because you can play Knight's Edge in everything, I don't think Full Moon is playable in everything, for instance, in like, <clears throat> uh, in Kyangle, I'm pretty sure Full Moon is like garbage. Uh, because they move so much and if you use scaffold on the guillotine you're like gonna miss it 50 80 percent of the time probably i don't know uh, i just didn't have a good time because scaffold takes so long but it does so much damage so you just i just have to take it but yeah um really like her 90 weapon i did get some lucky taps on her weapon so her weapon is 1605 um i did push for her really hard i never use 
unbound leap stones i haven't used an unbound leap stone since we got radiance so this is all just bound leap stones from like boxes and stuff that i've had um this is her her gear um she has really high qualities i got some pretty good qualities from the free taps um didn't actually i don't have a real build on her these are just like the power pass accessories and stuff um yeah I play 503. I don't like the green skills with the gray skills. Initially, I didn't like green skills whatsoever, so I wasn't going to play full moon at all because I don't like summons in general. I don't like the idea of summons. I don't like summoning classes. I like, you know, it's just me and myself and I, sort of. And for a scythe class, it seemed like kind of weird that she was just summoning things. I, When I'm playing a scythe class, I want her to do scythe stuff, you know? So, um, that's why I went with 503. I still like 503 more than 413. I tried both. Um, I like 503 a lot. So, when I don't want to use green skills, I just use this. And it does a lot of damage. I don't know the exact rotation. I have my own rotation for this that I concocted. Don't know if it's great or not. But it works. I, I do a lot of damage. I know that much. Um, it's around probably... around. Same amount as my Soul Fist, actually. Like, 12 mil DPS. Um, sometimes more, sometimes less. But most of the time, around that much. Um, she She's almost always in the family picture. Um, she doesn't always get underlined. Because, again, I, I play with some people that have, like, really, really good gear. And she just has, like, event stuff, you know. But, yeah, she does a lot. She's pretty good. Um, I love 503. I do have, again, like, I was going to say I do have a full moon set. But, obviously, I do. It's power pass. Um, <clears throat> I have been trying to cut some rocks. Most of the rocks are like, okay, I do have this 7-7, seven, seven, but it would suck for a 5-3-1. Um, I guess here's where I talk about my goals. My goal is to get her to 16-10, like every other one. But I do want to get both builds 5-3-1. I would like to have a rock that works for both. But, um, I'm not sure. Like, again, like, I don't think this adrenaline works. I want to have adrenaline as the, as the plus one. I don't want to have either predator. Because I'm pretty sure Adrenaline plus one is more value than either Predator on Soul Eater. Um, her bracelets, okay. It doesn't have crit on it, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, it has Circulate and the Sail. So, I think it probably does more damage. Um, I do have some rocks stashed up on in her storage, I'm pretty sure. I do send her some rocks, too. I don't have that many, I guess, huh? Unlucky. Um, but yeah, I whenever I get a rock, I just send it over. I haven't cut any of her elixirs either. Um, I just didn't have time last week, and this week I don't really feel like doing it. So, don't have any elixirs on her yet. But um, but yeah, I do. My goal is to get her five three one for both builds. Um, would like the accessories to be pretty high quality, probably eighty plus. Um, as near to 1800 as I can get. Uh, probably won't hit 1800 though, because um, that's going to be hella expensive. Um, and yeah, I think 531 is like enough, you know. Um, but yeah, she's my most recent character. She did not disappoint at all. I'm so happy uh, that we got her and that I really liked her and she wasn't. She didn't feel bad. I like both builds a lot. And yeah, you know. Um, not for this. She doesn't have any skins. I'm pretty sure she only has like two or three. Yeah, I I bought I kept this one from the box from that from the arc pass for this. I didn't dye it. I just you know didn't really have time. Didn't really know what color I wanted to dye it, so I just did that. Um, I was running this one. It just looks again like I said. It's so cla It's so great. So classy, elegant. Um, it's just not really classy. It's just elegant. It just looks mysterious and nice. You know. But yeah, I recently bought a bunch of these for all my characters, and now I'm just wearing this one, you know, um, <clears throat> because it's just so pretty, so nice. She doesn't have that many scythes in the market, and I just like the way this one looks, so I'm just going to keep this one until I see a scythe that I really like. Um, you can interchange skins between your different assassin classes, so I might do that with some of the skins on, on Elaine or Frida. But yeah, um, that about sums it up for the seven that i do play i do all the raids uh my top seven i'm just gonna say upper seven my upper seven 
Um, the thing is, I would love, <laughs> I would not love, I, I kind of want an upper six because upper seven is like, you know, the extra character is a, a lot more time doing those raids. It's at least three hours to do those extra raids. But <clears throat> I just like all my characters too much. I don't really want to relegate one of them and not do raids on them. If I would, it would probably be artist because support kind of stinks. And I, but I love my artist too much. I can't do that. So, yeah, I I would rather spend three extra hours doing raids on her, on or just adding an extra person to my roster and like not playing another game or not doing something with those three hours than like relegating someone at the moment you know probably forever honestly um or until i just start getting lazy and not doing raids in general on everyone but yeah you know um that's it for the upper seven um yeah uh i'm pretty sure i went over everything that i wanted to go over it seems like it yeah um yeah <clears throat>